Good morning, you guys. Nikki here, creator of The Glow Code and your Kingdom Mindset Coach. Um, I just wanted to share a little inspiration with you um, today. I was watching the news and they're talking about the earthquake that happened over in Turkey and Syria. And first of all, our prayers go out to that region, to those nations, to the people. Um, it looks completely um, like sheer devastation over there. Um, the loss of life is kind of sort of unimaginable. So first of all, our prayers go out to them. But the experts were talking about the proximate cause of the loss of life, the proximate cause of the, the magnitude of the devastation. And they were saying, yes, the earthquake was a large earthquake. However, we did not have to have this type of loss of life. What caused this type of loss of life is the fact that people were building buildings off code. People were not following the rules and regulations of city planning, the rules that have been put in place to mitigate damage if and when there would be an earthquake earthquake because apparently Turkey is on a fault line so it's sort of predictable that there are going to be earthquakes so there are rules on the books as to how high you can build what materials you have to use in building um, what buildings can be next to uh, different buildings if your building is going to be this tall it can't be next to a building that's short so there are rules put in place to mitigate damage not if, but when earthquakes should happen. However, builders, developers, the government was not requiring people to stay in line with the regulations. Um, they were not requiring people to use the materials that are, are dictated. People start getting greedy, cutting corners, using cheaper materials, building as high as they can so they can get as many apartments in a structure um, as they can and make the most money. And so the experts were saying, if people had lived by the code, if people had built by the code, yes, there would have been an earthquake, but it would not have been this devastating. And so what that um, revealed to me uh, is I think we can apply that to our own lives as well. Um, life be life in sometimes. And it is totally predictable that there will be storms, hurricanes, earthquakes, figuratively speaking, in our lives. Things are going to happen. Things that catch us off guard, things that break our hearts, things that hurt us, things that you know, we, we, we didn't anticipate or we, we weren't all the way prepared for, but we have to deal with whether it be death, heartbreak, whatever it is, this is life. Okay. But the most high has given us a code, a code to live by. He's given us laws, statutes, commandments. He's given us a blueprint as to how we should be building our lives. He's told us what the foundation, the proper foundation for building our lives is. He's given us that for our own good so that when these earthquakes happen, when these storms blow through, we can still stand. We don't have to die. You know, we might have a bruise, but we can pick up, dust ourselves off and keep going. He's given us these rules and regulations for our protection. And how many of us I'm going to say me, have had times where we disregard the rules. We disregard the regulations. We don't want to live by the code. We want to do our own thing. And then sure enough, here comes a, a storm that blows through, whether it be, you know, a boyfriend, a, a, a boss at the job who just for whatever reason is on your back, whether it be a sickness, whether it be disease, whether it be death, earthquakes and, and storms and life blow through. And because I was disregarding the code, I ended up devastated when it didn't have to be that way. So I think the message that uh, was communicated to me through that news report is that we have to live by the code. We have to build our lives on the proper foundation, which is the rock. We have to have deep rooted faith. We can't be using cheap materials in the building up of our lives or the building up of our faith. Okay. And, and these rules, regulations, statutes, commandments, um, all of that in the good book has been given to us for our protection. And we see an illustration of this in the old Testament where a storm also known as the death angel blew through town and caused complete devastation, except for those who followed the code, except for those who followed the rules. Yeah. The death angel, i.e. earthquake is about to blow through here. But if you do what I say, if you go in your house and put this lamb's blood on your doorpost, you're going to be okay. So I think in our lives, that's what we need to do. We need to follow the code, whether that be literally or figuratively um, making sure we have the blood across our door or the other rules and regulations and commandments that have been given to us. When we follow those, when we live by those, it, it enables us to withstand the trials and tribulations of life. So I hope that edifies you. I hope that blesses you. It definitely, you know, 
had me clutching my pearls and I'm gonna try to be doing my best to make sure I'm following, you know, the code and the regulations. So as we always say here before we leave, and I mean it for sure this time, know the code, live the code, light the world. I love you all. Peace. And if you want help in a group setting of how to know, live the code and light the world, you need to go ahead and hit the link in my bio and apply for our group coaching program or consider joining our private uh, community. If you join the, the program for coaching, you automatically become a member of the private community. So hit the link, come join on with us because um, we, we got to get it together around here. I love you all. Peace.